What's up, y'all? What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Goldie Interviews. Hey. So, tonight, I'm bringing the show in with a little old school music, some SWV, because um, this is like an old school kind of night. You know what I'm saying? I got my girl on here, y'all. Heidi Shatar Collier. I'm so psyched because, y'all, I have not seen nor talked to this girl in 15 years, okay? Um, my castmate for Flavor of Love Season 1, so excited. Look, hey, if you on here, text your people, call somebody, let them know. It's going down. It's going to be Goldie and Heidi again. <laughs> All for you on live tonight on Goldie Interviews. So, 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 so excited, man. Let me see who in here tonight. What's up, Jamel? Hey, Jamel Def. What up, what up? Arnold Norfleet. Arnold, hey. You know what, Arnold Norfleet, if you wasn't in here, I would be shocked and surprised because you know you be on every episode, <laughs> even when you late. <laughs> What's up, baby? Hey, what up, cuz? Diva Danny, what's going on, girl? <laughs> yes, yes, for the purple lipstick tonight, cuz I knew you would be proud. <laughs> what up, what up? Oh, man, y'all come on in. I can't wait, man. What's going on? Hey, guards up. Uh, hey, you know I'm going to ask her. You know I'm going to ask her about that chicken. You already know. Hey, Erasure Selection. What's good? All the way from... Um, Australia. I was trying to remember what part of Australia you was coming from, but it don't matter. You representing from Australia. Uh, what up, Jan? Jan 614. What's going on? She said, oh, yeah. What's good? Hey, Flame Zoo. What's up? What's up? Um, What's going on? Let me see who else in here. Hey, Nick BW. Uh, what's good? Let me wave. Y'all wavy. Y'all wavy. I got to wave back tonight. Hey, Smokey, what's up, Green Thumb Smokey? Smokey, I want to know what you be over there growing, homie. I want to see it. Send me a DM or what you got going on. <laughs> oh, man. What's up? What's up? Oh, hey, um, Cities, my cat walk. What up? Y'all join tonight. Bree so beautiful. Hey, darling. How you doing? What's up, twin mama? She said, oh, my God. Is Heidi a comedian, too? No. Oh, but she funny though. <laughs> oh, she's hilarious. Uh, it's George World. He said my phone is charged up. Got my snacks. I'm ready. Me too. Oh man. Uh, what up? What up? Look, 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 look. Somebody talking about my wifey. Okay, play with it. Uh, hey CJ Hope. I just got, I just got really, really into the show again, and I forgot how much I love you. Thank you. I appreciate it. What up, Taylor Hill? What's going on? Um, hey, t Fur, 1988. What's good? Thank you. I'm loving all the love, y'all. Oh, my God. Can y'all believe that Heidi is going to be in the building tonight? Can you believe it? Man, I'm so hyped because, uh, yeah, we have much to discuss. Much to, to talk about <laughs> for my reality show days. Hey, she said, okay, okay, uh-huh. Cheetah Princess, 225. What up, Cheetah Princess? Hey, Sophia Rusty. Hey, boo. Pretty neck. Hey, she said, I can't wait. <laughs> hey, 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 y'all. First of all, when we get finished tonight, we're going to know everything is to know about cooking chicken. <laughs> and I ain't even in the kitchen. Oh, man. What up, what up? Um, Hey, he and dog. What's good here, dog? Hey, what's good? Coco Butter, 1221. What it do? Hey, what up, Philly? Philly representing the night. What's good, Philly? How you doing? Um, so good to see you. Oh, you're from Riverland in South Australia. You from the southern part. I knew it. I knew you was from the south, homie. You know what I'm saying? You a little too cool. Uh, what's up, King Mar? Hey, baby. What's up? Uh, thank you, uh, Reman B. Hati, 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 my bad. <laughs> I always be messing up names, yo. 
I'm sorry. I apologize, but I love you anyway. Thank you for, uh, you know what I'm saying? The compliment. Right, that, 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 that. Um, hey, Caramel Z, what up, what up? Waving, waving. Uh, the bus sent. What's good with you? Um, Mo954305, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Oh, uh, man, having a great Wednesday night. What's good, uh, B Eric 88 how you doing? How you doing? All right, y'all. Look. Oh, Memphis checking in. What up, Memphis? How y'all doing? Thank y'all for joining tonight. Uh, you will be thoroughly entertained. Hey, Flavor Flav. My baby boo. Hey, y'all know, hey, look, I done got hottie on here. Y'all know I'm going to have Flav on this mug soon. Sooner than later. You better know I'm going to do it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Guzman, what's up? Hey, Guzman, how you doing? All right, Whew. all right, y'all, y'all, y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Drum roll. All right, let me go get my guest and bring her in to a Z Live. So, who's the hottie on Z Live? <laughs> oh, man, man. <laughs> Hey, Heidi, what's going on, girl? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. You know what? I'm so glad we was able to connect earlier. People was going crazy just off of that three minutes of us talking. Yes, catching up. Oh, my gosh. How can you look better now, even, when you than you did with those glasses? Because I thought you had a filter on earlier. You look so oh amazing, girl. <laughs> you better put it in the lipstick, Okay. Heidi, I just do what I can, girl. Yes. I just do what I can. So, Heidi, I have to ask you, how okay. was the chicken? Uh, <laughs> uh, according to you, the chicken was lovely, okay? <laughs> girl! <laughs> girl, Heidi, look, okay, oh my God, it's, it's just so, it's so wild and nostalgic that we even, like, talking right now, yo. How have you been? What have you been doing uh, since Flavor it is like it is surreal. So I know, yes, we will talk about the chicken. I did not know how to cook, but we'll we'll come back to that. Uh, yeah, everything's been fine. It's so good to see you. Oh my gosh! You too, love. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, okay. So we just went through crazy twenty twenty quarantine. Yes. How did Heidi quarantine? I can barely. Believe. Can you believe that that actually happened in our lifetime? I can barely believe it. I mean, it was. It's, it's I can barely believe that that happened in our lifetime. It is so surreal that people would go through a pandemic. Um, but, you know, we're st we were staying indoors. You know, everybody was looking for water and tissue. You know how it is. So I mm -hmm. think like everybody else. Girl, that, that tissue was like uh, good cocaine. They was on it. They was <laughs> trying to find it. Okay. <laughs> But the one with the lavender, like, that was like a fun sport with splurge, right? That lavender fragrance was just incredible. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, man. So good. Okay, so I heard you got married. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, how, when did you get married? Oh, my gosh, yes. You know, people, they still talk. And if you go to TikTok, too, they're still talking about this. I got married in 2013, and that is a story. So do you want me to give you the press answer or give you the real answer? <laughs> I want the real answer. How did when, when, how'd you meet your husband? Oh and what did you tell him about your cooking skills? Uh, okay. So straight talk, I really did not know how to cook. And so I've been learning a bunch of recipes from my husband's family. And they're from the South. They're from Tennessee and Alabama. So they know they know some amazing recipes. Barbecue chicken, this and that, and roasted uh I've learned some amazing recipes. Um, so yeah, we got married 2013. But the funny thing is, our parents knew each other 30 years ago back in Maryland. So my mom knew his dad 30 years ago, but we did not meet until 2012 in Los Angeles. Oh, okay, so did they, could they like hook y'all up? Was it a hookup? Not at all. You would think so, but no, not at all. They just knew each other from a professional organization, but we didn't. Uh 2012 and not in Maryland all the way in LA uh-huh so did he did he recognize you from the show did he know you from flavor love I tell you a goldie he could care less he he's been in the industry like for years so he's seen it all he you know he got to start at BT he's seen it all been there he's 
you know, so he was over that part. Uh, but we got to connect on a really human level. And so, you know, that was, that was good. I, I, uh. How do y'all know what that means? <laughs> Man, but that's what's up. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, girl, you know we got to get into the tea of the show. Yes, my so everybody wants to know. Okay, so starting from the very beginning, how did you get on Flavor of Love? Like, what was your audition process like? Okay, the beginning, I, I, I'm an actor, right? So I've been doing all this different auditions and stuff. And, you know, I even did that other show, Blind Date, which... Mm -hmm. A real mm -hmm. thing, which was <laughs> set up as part of that show. Um, but for me, it was just another audition out of the, you know how it is when you're, so for those who may not know what it is as an actor in LA, when you go there, you literally, at that time, you drive around in your car with all different kinds of wardrobe for us and, you know, for me, wig, different, all kinds of different wigs as you have to play a whole bunch of different characters in that same day as you go through the uh, different auditions. So, uh -huh. Or, you know, when I got the audition for this one, I looked at the production company. I saw that they'd done, you know, all kind of shows with these over-the-top characters. And I went in and auditioned as an over-the-top character. And uh, well, what did you know? I want to know what you said to him. Because for me, I think the thing that got me on, when they asked me, could I see myself falling in love with Flavor Flav? Yeah. And I, I yeah. He, he looked like everybody else I done dated. And, you know, yeah. I think that was the thing that got me on the show. So for you, what was your thing that you think got you on? Uh, yeah, well, I want to ask you more about that, about your audition. What the, what else they asked you and what else you said. So uh, for me, I think I went in. I went in and it was the pink fluffy jacket and, you know, all the jewelry and, and just had fun with it. No matter what they asked me, I said the most over-the-top thing I could possibly think of. Can you remember something? Can you remember a specific question that they asked you? Yes, yes. They asked me if I knew who Flavor Flav was. But Goldie, you know that they didn't, that I didn't know who it was going to be until the day we walked into the house and he came in the house and was like flavor flame and that you know that is the story i had no idea so, so what did you think was going to be on the show i knew it was going to be some kind of show that we were going to be sequestered beforehand and we were that was so hard not being able to talk to people um uh, but then we yeah there was going to be some kind of dating show and that it could be this or they could be that but they didn't feel who it was specifically and i had no idea until he walked in the house that day and you seen it Season one, yes, yes. Girl, I knew. Yeah. Howdy, I knew because yeah. I, saw the, I first saw the audition on Craigslist. Wow. And then, yeah, and I was like, mm, nah, I don't want to do that. And okay. then my homegirl yes. had to go um, to, to the audition with her. But we knew going in that it was a <laughs> play. Oh, I had no idea it was on Craigslist. So if I, if I were thinking back, probably through Actors Access, back, you know, one of those. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh! What? So what? So did you know? Did you know that they had another, like a um, another? I can't think of the, the word, but it was a another show that they did for it, like a preliminary show where they had twenty other girls for Flavor Flav. No, tell me what is this? Had no girl, idea. What? So I, I met when I was doing background work. I met this girl doing background. And she was like, "I just did this show, a pilot." That's the word. I don't know why I can't remember the word pilot. But I was, they were like, they did a pilot for it. And she was like, yeah, I was on there with Flavor Flav. And I was like, for real? I was like, because I had seen it on Craigslist at that point. Uh -huh. And I said, well, how was it? And she was like, it was cool. It was cool. But none of those girls were used for our show. Oh, my gosh. Goldie. Oh, my. Okay. I see. We're going to see. Gonna... see. <laughs> This is even more than I expected coming. I knew it was going to be great, but this is serious information. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so, so now when you were standing, how we all were standing on the bleachers, yes. getting drunk, <laughs> waiting. By the way, did you get drunk? Were you drunk too? I was just trying to get some sleep. That's what I was telling Lacey. I was so, you know how it is, that 24-hour production schedule, uh -huh. just trying to get some sleep when I could. No, I was fully awake and alert, but I remember standing there just trying to keep all our costume pieces in line, you know, just trying to make sure everything was in place. Well, Heidi, Heidi, I was hungry. I was, no, I was hungry. I was hungry with an O, and yeah. I kept asking for food, and they kept giving us champagne. Yes, I remember that you have strawberries and champagne. Girl, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, I was all the way gone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Well, you represent you represented every single episode you represent. 
girl, no, 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 it was so funny how you shut me down. What? When I was in there with him on the piano, and I came in there, and you was like, um, we, uh, I, I'm having time, okay? I, this is our time, and I was like, ooh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I can only laugh because you never know what to expect. And also when you're doing these shows, you never really know how long they're going to be. So you have to maximize every day. What is the objective of this show? Okay. Think about that objective. Achieve the objective from the beginning. I was on my mission, girl. I was on my mission. Fact, facts, honey. Facts. So, okay. When we were standing on the bleachers and this, you know, that took forever for him to get here. But when he <laughs> did, what did you think? What did you think when you first saw him? Yeah. So they, because they'd asked me in the audition, I knew that it could be him, but it also could be somebody else. So when he came in, I was like, okay, okay, cool, cool. I'm glad that I was able to do my research on the production company so I know exactly what to expect out of the show. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so were you thinking that when you realized it was him and he came through the door with that pink suit on, was you thinking, like, I might have to, like, get with him for real? Well, straight, honestly, Great talk. I told him uh, during production, I was like, okay, I'm an actor. I'm, I'm here for the show and here for ratings. So everything that I can do that is part of this show and here for ratings, I'm here. So all the, all the stuff, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff was having fun, understanding that this was, it was a job, that it was a job. Uh-huh. So you told him. You told him? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, I did. Yep. Okay. Okay. You, okay. You, you was a, that was a G move. That was a G move. Because... <laughs> I would have been scared to let to say that to him that we I'm just here and I'm an actor and da 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 da. Yep. Uh -huh. It's better people know, you know, because because I understand there are some who really now I should ask you, were you really there for love then? If that's the case, did you believe everything was real through the whole time? Were you actor beforehand? Uh, ma'am, ma'am, uh, I'm a comedian. Okay. <laughs> I was there for the fun. I was there for the jokes. Now, honest, straight up, I really wanted to get to know him. Yeah. For I wanted to get to know him because I love Flavor Flav. Like, he's dope, always has been dope, much respect. Yeah. So, just to be, like, girl, and, okay, first of all, I was living in a janky little apartment in North Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That was like, you get ready to live in a mansion. Oh, man. <laughs> Sign me up for that. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yes, yes. Girl, uh-uh. So, okay, once you got in the house, who did you like? Like, what did you think of certain people? Like, what did you think of New York? Okay, so going back to what you were saying about about the mansion that was so for people who are wondering is it a set that was a real house that was a real house real tennis courts everything the pool everything was real absolutely beautiful location yep. so as far as new york i saw i saw her just like another actor in the show i figured everyone was an actor or a comedian or a model perhaps and they all had professional goals so you also know because i found out that each of us were cast to play these different roles to some degree like based on our own personality traits and you remember that psychological they had us take all mm -hmm. the of that psychological exam so i was there kind of like the girl next door sort of like you know just coming in so as i was talking to new york i i i you just assess right and then okay. you, over the time you kind of see okay who's gonna play this role who's playing that role who's playing what other role and then once i saw what role she was playing i was like okay this is gonna be fun <laughs> So, Heidi, no, I have to give you your props today, right here, right now. I, girl, I feel like you made that show. What? I'm uh, you. Goldie, we all made the show together. Girl, because, I mean, for me, it yes. was amazing. Okay, so you know how we stayed in the hotel for those three days. You couldn't see nobody. You couldn't, like, you didn't know what who else was going to be there. Yes. And when we finally came downstairs in the lobby, and I saw... <laughs> Girl, I saw you in that pink chiffon feathers, and I, I call it I call it your seduction outfit. Oh. You know, seduction outfit. I said, "Oh, I'm gonna get her. She gonna be the one." She gonna be all my material, and you gave me so much material. Yes, it's wardrobe. You know, when you're doing a show, you have to dress the part. When you're going to a job, a particular job, you have to dress the part, whether it's a suit, you're going as an attorney, you're wearing a tie, whatever it is. And so they said that this is a show about eating show. Okay, I'm bringing some wardrobe that matches the part. Girl, I, I'm telling you, but I feel, no, 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 but real talk now, I'm going to tell you two moments, Heidi, two moments that I felt like you 
was being 100% yourself. Ooh. When you was like, I feel like these double Zs is going to kill them. I think you meant that. Did you mean that? You meant that. <laughs> so people ask, okay, so great talk, real talk. I have not had any surgery whatsoever. No no surgeries, uh, no no physical uh, alterations. And, real. And, real. And, you know, yeah. real talk, I encourage everyone, no matter what your, your body is, whatever your body type is, to love yourself. And that is straight talk. So again, all of the lines, everything, all of the lines, we're all, it's all lines. To me, it's lines it playing in the character. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But to be clear now, to be clear, nothing was scripted. Let's just let everybody know. Nothing was scripted. Everything we said and did was us. So that's the thing. So people who understand, they know what it is, improv. They threw us in different situations. So all of a sudden we're here, we're at a nursing home, we have to do a competition or whatever the competition is, you uh -huh. have on your feet. A, what is the objective for this show? We want to win, right? We all wanted to win. We all wanted to that would really- No, wait, no. I, I didn't want to win, Heidi. What? I, I, I wanted to get far. Yes. But I didn't want to win because I felt like winning really meant you were going to be with him. And I mean, I I didn't want to necessarily be with him like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, well, I hope you got a chance to know him more during the during the set. And you know that his, his mom was telling us he's a classical pianist and all that stuff. And right. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so now the part where uh, um, we were doing the polygraph, the lie detector test. And <laughs> it looks hey. like you lie on every question, Heidi. Did I, you lie on every question, or was that just them playing games? I have things to say about that. Number one, look closely at the editing. If you have what's called a master shot where the camera looks at something and then pans over to something else, with the master shot, you are getting what is accurately going on. However, now all, all of our people are, you know, they're savvy on doing editing. Everybody's making mm -hmm. YouTube videos and things. You know what it is for editing. If you film one thing and then cut to something else, you can make everything be what you want it to be. Now, what I do want to say is that the reunion show, do you remember the reunion show? And, and they had Lala measure my waist at the end with a tape uh -huh. at the end. I was telling everybody there was a 27 inch waist at the end of the reunion show. She verified with a tape measure, which I did not want to do at all. I did not know she was going to take that thing out. So Girl, she was scared it was a lie. Girl, she measured that thing. <laughs> like, yup, 27. I was like, thank you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Heidi, this fool. That is too funny. Okay, so while you were there, girl, because I remember it was like an every morning thing. You was doing Tai Chi. Was you, that like something you normally did or was that just for the show? Oh, my. I love Tai Chi, but you know that was stressful. You know being in those competitions was stressful every time. You never know what to expect. You're up at night with the Tai Chi. I was able to calm down. I love Tai Chi. Yes, I've been doing Tai Chi well before the show. I was like, she looked like she know what she doing over there, but it was just so random. It was so random, Heidi. Everything was super random. Okay, now I have to blame you for getting rid of one of my favorite people, Miss Lay. Oh. Well, okay, you wanting to get rid of her, or or not necessarily get rid of her, but just kind of exposing her talking to her boyfriend. Uh, was that something that you just kind of did, or was that production? The production kind of pumped that up. Honestly, I mean you have to think about the objective again. What is the objective? You okay. play, play chess, right? Or checkers or any of these other games. Mm -hmm. You have to be strategic. And that's all I have to say about that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, girl. That is hilarious. Okay, now, uh, y'all, I got to ask because you already know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two things, Heidi, that people always ask me about this show. Okay. Always me. They always want to know, was it real? Mm -hmm. And they want to know, what about that girl that put that chicken in the oh. microwave? <laughs>
So straight talk. No, see, I want to ask your opinion because first of all, and everybody on here too, I want to say that I'm very inspired by you doing this show here. So I'm giving applause, giving applause. Okay. This is wonderful. I would never had a chance to. What was it like for you when Rick gave us that competition? Big Rick was like, okay, you all are going to be making chicken. What were you thinking? What happened? So, okay. So my thing was, <laughs> it was cool. I fried chicken before. I okay. didn't want to on a fried chicken on the show. You know what I mean? Because they gave us like a tight little window. We only had like 30 minutes to cut the whole chicken up. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, I never cut a whole chicken up. Like, I always buy the, the chicken pieces and fry it. Yes. So, that was like, well, dang. I need time to cut this chicken up before I do it. But I wasn't intimidated by the challenge. Okay. You, on the other hand, seemed really scared you seem scared <laughs> i was raised as a vegetarian so i never cooked a whole chicken never handled a raw chicken in my life ever so that is the truth i did not know how to make chicken i was very competitive and i knew that i wanted to win these competitions and that chicken frying competition was not one that i was going to win the other thing is i looked over and saw all those pans of hot grease Courtney, all those pans of hot grease. I'm like, what? I know there has to be another way. I turned that's around. What, even Heidi, I, that's what fried chicken is, hot grease. Oh, my God. Oh, but I had to turn around. I said, no, there's another way. There's another way. So I saw the microwave. I was so glad to see that chicken button on that microwave, can I tell you? Uh, but yes, I was really raised as vegetarian. I've never made a chicken before, ever. But I'm learning now. I'm learning now. I, I'm I, coming to I'm, oh, don't don't trip. I'm coming around to now, but let's talk about then real quick. Oh uh, yeah. So when you saw the chicken button on the microwave, yes, you honestly think that that was gonna cook the chicken. So my whole thought was a sense of relief when I saw that thing come on. I was full of gratitude. Talk about grateful. But I had fun with the recipe. I put you know some cucumbers in and a carrot, some noodles that jelly on it, a little marshmallows, it just had fun. But really a straight talk, no, I knew, but you know, 30 seconds or a minute, it probably wouldn't come out done. Uh, but I knew there had to be another way to maximize the experience and the fun for the ratings of this episode. And it seemed to work out okay. Heidi, <laughs> did you turn, you really literally turned lemons into lemonade with that. Like that you <laughs> did, that was, I, I, I can't say I would have ever thought to do something like that crazy because, you know, once you, if you don't know something, you just don't know. But I really think you, like, maximize that moment for real. Yes. Now, so for somebody who was standing right beside you, when, yes. uh, yeah, I looked at you because I could see you was, you was really, like, terrified. Oh, my God. And then when I saw you, like, pull out the stuff, and I was just like, what are you like? Wait, what? What you doing? Yeah, you gotta cut the chicken, and and I was trying to help you, but then I thought about it. Wait, it's a competition, so I can't help her. It's a competition, girl. When, you, when I saw you take that platter and put it in the microwave, I was like, no, honey, no, girl. <laughs> what are you doing? Girl. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something really personal? Uh -huh. Okay. So even through all of these journeys, I have learned a lot of recipes for my husband's family, but I still have some of these things in the kitchen. For example, right now, downstairs, my microwave, it just started smoking and just like, I don't know if it was going to explode or whatever. So right now, right even right now my microwave is not working. Sometimes when I make these recipes, they still come out uh, in unexpected ways, but for the things that I do know how to cook, I try to take it step by step because I really genuinely am learning. So for people who are just learning, you know, how to cook, you don't have to feel bad, uh, you know, because I'm still going through it even now. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think most people just have like those go-to meals that they really know how to cook. Yeah. But you know, everybody, every woman doesn't know how to cook everything. Thank period. you. Thank you. Exactly. Girl, you know what I'm saying? But however, <laughs> however, Heidi, uh, uh, the part where we had to present the chicken to yeah. his mother. <laughs> and, yeah. was, and and when he was like, yo, yo, who did this? Yo, who, who gave my mother this raw chicken? He was going crazy. Heidi, 
when you turned around and was looking to see who did it. Yep. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I was done with you. <laughs> I was over you right then and there. <laughs> she she is dirty. You girl, come on now, Heidi. Really? <laughs> But if that was the winning recipe, though, if that was the recipe that won, I'd be like, yes, right here. That's mine. That's mine. Okay. I was standing in the back like, no, I can't be like, just stand there. Take it. Take it. Take it. You don't have to own it. But don't look around like somebody else did. I was looking around. I was looking around. Because you know it's all going to air on TV anyway. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. Too funny, girl. That was like, that was like classic reality <laughs> TV mom classic. You did that. Oh, Lessons, learned. Lessons learned. I know how to cook now. <laughs> Girl, so, um, were you surprised that um, Hoops won? No, I wasn't surprised at all. She was very mm -hmm. nice the whole time. I was not, you know, I was not surprised. It could have been anyone, really. So, yeah. no. Yeah. Well, I, I always knew it was going to come down to New York and Hoops. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you get alone time with him? We all got some alone, uh, alone time where you get a chance to talk, you know, and we saw his hairdresser in the room, you know, there who was there doing his hair all the time. So, yeah. Uh -uh. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Because my alone time, he was trying to get my goodie. Oh. And, and I was like, oh, no. Hey, I remember. <laughs> articles that, that they were saying that there were a couple of people that connected, but no, we didn't connect on that deep level. Maybe because I was an actor there, but that blind date episode, that part was real and that was not planned. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what's funny is that I think Dave was too hard on you for that. For real. Now, at the moment, I was, you know, I, I, yeah, get her I, out of here. Yeah. But really, you. everybody had did other stuff like Pumpkin. Pumpkin had did some other reality TV too. What? being that big of a deal okay okay yeah not, not really it was shocking it was yeah. shocking to see you all another okay. show but yeah well start the other thing is i don't know if people notice but in the costume because you have fun with everything from costumes to lines wardrobe all this stuff uh -huh. i try i had fun with the costumes while during the show and sometimes i'll put like easter eggs in the costumes of shows so uh -huh. i point to wear a specific outfit on this show that I'd worn on that show just to see if anyone would notice. So, uh, you know, and a couple of people did know. What do you oh, say? I said, you call them Easter eggs. Okay. Yeah, just to have fun with the content because, you know, uh, now we're creating more content just to have fun with it. Different things like you can engage with the fans in different ways. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, Charm School. Let's talk a little bit about Charm School. Okay. Okay. I um, how did you feel about being on Charm School? And did you think you could win that show? I knew I could win that show. It was my plan to win that show. I'd won every challenge until it was time to go. And so I felt that it was so unfair how that ended. Uh, because if you notice, we won all the challenges, the fashion contest and the other things because you, mm -hmm. you have to be strategic from the beginning. So yes, I still want to rematch even to this day. Girl, so okay, so was it because what sent you home? It was like somebody had took somebody's mom's picture and put it under your mattress. What happened? Yes, no, I did not even know what happened until I watched it on TV with everyone else. So I'm sitting there with my family, like, I don't know what happened. Are they gonna show? Did do we even have it on camera? Did you see that they had it on camera? What happened? That no, uh uh. Mm -mm. Yes, they they actually showed the actresses who put the picture under my bed. I had no idea. And so the cameras already knew this. So I was thinking, okay, well, they knew, you know, I didn't put it there. I had no idea. Oh, okay, okay. So do you feel like it was the producers that wanted you to leave? No, not necessarily. Again, it's, it's a, st a strategic game, right? And you're looking at games, you're looking at ratings, you're looking at whatever someone thought to put that picture under my bed right and that was used to send me home unjustifiably and uh -huh. i still still feel that that is unjustified and that i could have won the entire show i 
on the line, it was 10,000 or 50,000. Whatever it was, I was planning to buy some things for my mom. I had some plans for that, okay? I wanted to do some good things, you know? And so, no, I didn't get a chance to. I did not get a chance to. Wow. So how, how many people were left when you left charm school? I'd have to watch. I'd, I'd have to watch now. It's been so many years. I think maybe four or so. You know, but I don't, oh. I don't remember. Yeah, I'd have to watch again. You made it far. You made it far. Okay. Did you, um, did you feel like you had, like, did you connect it with Monique or you had genuine moments with her? Not very many genuine moments uh, because, again, we're all there working. As you know, they're, you get these situations, they put you in them, and then you kind of figure out, okay, improv, what's my line, right? Okay, what am I going to uh -huh. do? Okay, what's the challenge today? And for her, you know, I know what it's like for us as individuals, but for her, she had to be the headmistress over this whole thing. So it must have been even more stress for her having to manage each individual person, her own story, right? That was a real thing. And then what's going to happen next episode to make sure that she represented in a way. So, you know, it could have been so much more stressful for her. And I wanted to ask you, did you go on tour with her? Did you do a comedy tour with her? Mm -mm, nope, that never happened, girl. That what? never happened. Yeah, I, I mean, it just, it just didn't. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we had a little riff or whatever, and so it just, you know what I'm saying? Didn't it just didn't come together? But it was cool, man. Cause I mean, I still was like on the road a lot doing comedy yeah. with a lot of different, um, big, you know what I'm saying? Big name comedians or whatever, open for people. So, girl, it was good. It was all good for me. Oh, okay, <laughs> good. That's resilience, right? Resilience. Come on now, how do you know that's what we got, girl? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I see your comments up there. They're like, yeah, it would have been good too. I agree. That tour would have been great. Oh, it would have it would have been yeah. nice. But you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how the industry goes. It doesn't always things don't always happen like boom, boom, boom. For instance, when I got off of Flavor of Love, I th girl, I thought the phone was getting ready to be ringing off the hook. I was getting ready to be rich. Yeah. I thought that was it. I was on TV. People knew me. Bye. I was, it was over. And it, it didn't work like that. <laughs> yeah. I know that's what Taraji Henson was saying, too, after she won her award, that she knew one of many now, that mm -hmm. she, but still, she had to pursue different goals and different uh, professional things. And that is, that is true. We all are the masters of our own destiny. And so the more we go for it, the more we can build with the things that we have with our own lives. And that is true. Yeah. What did the show do for your career? So a lot of people, they ask me the same thing. Was it real? Was it scripted? And about the chicken. So career-wise, it didn't matter what I did. Technological stuff, e-learning stuff, none of it mattered. Everyone just kept asking me about that chicken. And Goldie, I had to tell them the truth that I did not know how to cook chicken. So I took time to learn cooking the chicken. And then I was able to do, you know, I do a cooking show called Poultry Princess. It is wow. awesome. What about that? Yeah. Oh, uh when people look up the chicken, now they can see they look flavor of love, you know, hottie chicken, they can actually find the recipes on there. Now the show is called Polar Princess. People can watch it on Amazon Prime or document reality TV. Who's channel. the lady? Was it, is, is it always a different guest that's on there with you cooking? Or is it just you? You know, I mean, or is it the same person? Straight talk, that lady that you're talking about, Aunt Janine, I call her my culinary consultant, but she uh -huh husband's real aunt that is his dad's real sister teaching me actual recipes from tennessee girl yes. all her polar nephew to um be not able to eat food oh <laughs> exactly exactly yes Howdy, wait how long how long did it take you to learn how to cook how, how long was that process look you you can ask me that after you see a picture of my microwave i am still learning okay that thing started smoking i'm still learning i am still learning because i still feel like you're pretty really comfortable with the microwave like <laughs> yes. yes can you i mean but can you can you fry good chicken like good crispy chicken now i i i, I tell you okay so you you know how to cook you know how to fry you, you've learned these you've known these recipes for years right I i had no idea all the stuff about double battering right all that stuff making sure the oil is the temperature all that stuff is really a thing it is really a thing. So I'm learning some things, but uh, I, I, I have accepted there that there are some things, some recipes that it's easier just to do takeout or, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. comfortable with takeout. Does your husband, like, does he cook? Incredibly. His recipe, I mean, he can barbecue. I, it's like, it's like heaven on a plate when I taste anything that he's made. 
<laughs> right now, I will say this though. Mm -hmm. I saw an episode of the doctors that you yeah. did. Oh yeah. So that was so because they gave you a whole lot of love and shine on there. But you um were talking about some recipes that you cook in the microwave. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the ones, just the ones that you you know you put on the, the doctors. Now see, I just say don't knock it till you try it. Those recipes, you can make it in the microwave. You can actually bake these desserts and, and those kale chips. Do you ever make kale chips? I don't. I cook regular kale on the stove. Yes, it's good. It's good. You should try it. Uh, you know, when we connect, we, sh we should try it. Maybe I'll make some kale chips. Okay. Heidi, I would love to come on your cooking show. Yes, let's do it. Let's mm. do it for real. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. I'm all about it, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, they, because the, they were eating what you made, and they, they were all like, oh, this is good. Okay, all right. How'd you get it crispy? Yeah, lots of research and lots of recipes. Let me tell you, recipes are a life saver. Uh-huh. Talking about people on there, you know, recipes are a life saver. Yes, absolutely. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's so dope. So don't you have a cookbook, too? Yeah, Poultry Princess. You can watch the show, Amazon Prime. You can get the, the cookbook, Poultry Princess, also on Amazon. I'm going to send you a cookbook, too, just for you, because I appreciate hey, Thank you. <laughs> how it is. Which one is your favorite? You know, and I try to make them easy, because if I can make it, I think a lot of people can make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you, so you're, you're no longer vegan, because you grew up vegetarian or vegan. And yes, but I eat chicken now. Yep. I bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I bet you do. Heidi, will you do another reality show? Absolutely. I love doing TV and telling real stories. Absolutely. What about you? Um, yeah. I, on, for real, for real, I'm looking towards production, though. Okay. Like, well, if I'm around, I want to produce a, okay. a, a show, you so, know, instead of a contestant. So uh, EP, executive producing or storylines, like, tell me more about that. Girl, honey. So you know, you know I'm a therapist, right? Yes, congrats. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to do a, uh, I want to do a dating show because that is my genre okay. of dating. Um, but you know, help people from a, a therapeutic stance yeah. and entertaining at the same time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. It's uh, it's it's in the works. It's yeah. in the works. I I'm, might have to, I might have to bring you on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I love hearing this. That was girl. Amazing. So, okay, so Heidi, now since you have become famous, because you are, bon we, we are bona fide famous, you know what I mean? How, who's been some, somebody, some people that you've met fame-wise that was like, like your best celebrity encounter? So, so many. So, of course, you know from the, the Fox, uh, the, uh, let's see, it was Comedy Central this time. We did the Fox Reality Awards. There were lots of people there. Um, but also the Comedy Central. So Snoop Dogg was there. You saw Ice-T and Coco were there. Jerry Springer, that was fun. Miss J. Alexander, Pyra Show. There are so, so many people. Just wonderful. Benicio Del Toro and just, just Daryl Hannah. Just so many, so many wonderful people. That you've met at different mm -hmm. film festivals and different events and things. Yep. Yes. Who were you, who were you shocked that knew you or recognized you? Uh, well, it depends. If they know pop culture, then they, they most likely know the show. And not only that, the, the thing that did surprise me the most is when I went to my cousin's wedding over in Amsterdam. Can you believe they all knew the show? They knew the show and loved the show over there. They knew your character. They knew my character. They knew all about the show. So it was international. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've met some people from other countries in passing, and like one girl was like, "Oh, I watched you on the telly." I'm like, oh. Yes. Great. Yeah. And great. then on this show, we have a lot of people that pop in from different countries. Australia, for some yeah. reason, is big. They yeah. like to watch every week. Yeah. I get you know South America. I get a lot of different different places. So it's it's super cool, man. I I mean, I don't know. Did you think? So we have the effect that it did. Had no idea from the beginning. And I want to say shout out to the people in Australia because they've been our fans since the very beginning. When we first started on when the show was airing, you know, around 2006 or whatever, Australia has represented the whole time. So, yeah, special shout out to you um, from uh -huh. Australia. I had no idea because I'd done so many other shows, so many other acting gigs. And then, you know, it'll air. Uh -huh. So tell people to watch and they watch and then you know next episode or whatever you know but right. this could have been just like that i had no uh -huh. idea 
We had no idea that it was going to become the number mm -hmm. show for the entire network for that whole year. That was incredible, incredible. I know. And I'm grateful. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, me too, for <laughs> real. Now, I know one of your parents is a psychiatrist. Correct. Yeah. That is correct. My mom is a psychiatrist. Thank you for remembering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now, how, like, how did growing up with a psychiatrist as a parent affect <laughs> your personality? <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, real, real talk. This is what I found out because I would actually go to different, you know, places with her and I would see the people come in and they wanted to talk or whatever. And what I realized just from observing, even as a little, as a little girl, that most people, most people, Courtney, they just wanted to A, not be judged. They wanted to be understood. They wanted to feel seen and appreciated. And so I tried to carry that, you know, carry that through even in our productions today to make mm -hmm. sure people know that if they think nobody else cares, understand that I care. And when it comes to judging, I do not judge you. Uh -huh. I'm just watching, I don't judge you. I believe that you are doing the best you can to get through your day. And right. I just offer you encouragement and care. So that's what I learned. And I trust mm -hmm. she still follows a similar principle. And so that's what I try to do also. Yeah, you don't seem judgy. I don't get that from you. Nope. But I feel like, like, okay, from just you being on reality TV, I mm -hmm. think the walk away for most people was that she crazy. She <laughs> kind of crazy. Like, how do you feel that, that your walk, like people walked away feeling like she crazy? <laughs> oh, and she's a gold digger. So how do you, oh. respond? for everybody that thinks Heidi, Heidi was crazy, Heidi was a gold digger, how do you respond to that? Yes, I'm so glad you brought that up. And and the other thing, the lie detector test, those were the three things that people talked about the most. And so no, none of those apply to me, the person who, who I read. The character, you had to be outrageous. That's what this production company was hiring. And uh -huh. so fun with being outrageous and coming with fun outrageous costumes and all that stuff. It was fun. It was it was fun and fun in acting. So lots of fun in acting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and I have to ask. Oh, gosh. For real, for real, for real, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Has anyone... Wait a minute, wait. Before you go, do I need to get ready to hang up or, or hang up the phone? What's your, <laughs> what, are you, what are you about to ask? Has anyone, friends or not friends, ever said that you look like Beyonce? Oh, yes. That, that was well before the show. Well before the show. But that scene... Can, okay, a straight talk. I, you know how it is when you have a chance to finally get some time to just relax and unwind between uh -huh. the competitions on the show. So I'm there in the bathroom, minding my business, you know, doing my little facial treatment, just stepping out the shower. I'm in my robe and relaxing, and I'm hearing the knock on the door. I'm like, it's so I'm in the bathroom now. Mm -hmm. I'm, you no, know, and I, I'm thinking, oh, production, they have another competition or something for tonight, and I open the door. And everybody is standing there. And then New York is asking me a random question about something that I knew nothing about. I'm like, I think it was a jacket. Like somebody had yeah. lost a jacket or something. Do, do you think, I have to ask her, do you think production told her to ask about a jacket? Do you think she really lost a jacket? Or do you think it was about a scene? I, I really don't know. It, it, it came off like it was a real moment. Like oh. she really couldn't find her jacket. Yeah. So yeah, so I, so I'm like, she's asking me about it. something I know nothing about. And so just drop of the hat, improv thinking. And so then I just deliver the line. And then that was the line. And then you once you deliver the line, you you go with it, right? It was just it was it was improv. It the whole show was improv. Girl, when I mm -hmm. said that was a classic line, Heidi, because then New York played it too with so much like y'all <laughs> Yeah, we all we all did. You, Pumpkin, New York, everybody. Oh, girl, I was on the floor. I was on the floor. <laughs> so that was so funny, Heidi. Oh my God, girl. Okay, so Heidi, before we go, I have to put you in the hot seat, love. Okay. <laughs> These are questions that were asked of you on the show. Okay. So we'll see if tonight the answers are different. Mm -hmm. or the same no from the actual show or some other time um this is from the actual show okay 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 um 
I'm so glad I get to talk with you about this now because these will be, I'll give you the character answers and I'll give you the real answers. Then we'll see what the, what the story is now. So I'm curious to see. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, were you on the show for Flavor Flav or for his money? Oh, definitely not for his money. <laughs> sort of for... I, I can't even say Flavor Flav because I didn't know who it was going to be. So the truth is, if I were to answer, I'd say neither. I was there as an acting job, and that's the truth. Okay, okay. Um, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I need to know. What, what lie detector question did you really lie or really was honest for? Really? <laughs> I'd have to watch <laughs> I'd have to watch the show. But it's like you you do comedy and improv, right? So mm -hmm. if you an improv scene and someone throws you questions at the improv scene, you think about the whole scene and answer accordingly. So I, I barely remember what they asked, but I know I answered accordingly in accordance with the character that I'm playing on the show. Mmm, very good. Very good, vague answer. Very good. <laughs> okay, um, I asked you about being asked about looking like Beyonce. Heidi, mm -hmm. how long is your real hair? I knew you were going to ask me about the hair question. <laughs> what I was going to say, let me tell you. Before doing that show, uh, you know how you prepare, you just prepare, you never know what to be prepared for. So, and I'm just gonna tell people the truth. The truth is I had my hair styled in advance before going to do the show. And so, you know, you were looking at some of my real hair in the front and I had some extensions in the back. So part of it, what you were seeing is my real hair and then part of it was extensions. No, that is not the wig that I wore for charm school. That charm school over three foot hair was something else. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> Heidi. Um, because now when you when you're doing acting, yes. you know, uh, characters, do you always feel like you need to have the? Because I mean, honestly, real talk. I mean, everybody wears wigs and weave. Oh and yeah, I got I got weave on right now. Okay? Yeah. So, so we, so we all do, but do you, do you, do you actually, do you like always feel like you need that because it's your look? So straight talk. I don't always feel like I need it because it's my look. It does depend on the character that I'm playing. So if I'm playing an attorney, I might wear a bob, right? If I'm playing a CEO, I might wear something pressed and flipped at the ends. Uh, I've played so many different characters. You know, that movie Waist Deep, that was one of my favorite uh, moments when the director uh, called me out, Von D. Curtis Hall, to play the bank teller. My uh -huh. hair was really different then. So yeah, it kind of depends on the character too. But then also, you know, as a business person, how what people are, how people know you, what you are known for. And so a lot of people ask me about the chicken, and a lot of people ask me about that wig from Term School. <laughs> yeah, because that was one of the questions I asked you when we were sitting at the table. Yeah, I was like um. <laughs> Oh, is your real hair? Now you know I'm trying to get a funny moment out of this. Yes, Come yes. Out with us. <laughs> and I see people commenting right now. They're quoting you of your lines from that table at the show that morning when you were like, they're quoting you. Yes, yeah, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it's not even it's it's not even a thing at all. Like that's why I feel like everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like now it's to the point where it's just like a hat or an accessory uh -huh. or what. People, you know what I'm saying? People wear whatever they feel like, you know what I'm saying? Make yes. them look, make, makes them look cute. And I think, I think you're always gorgeous, girl. You know what I mean? I you have come too. for you. too. Absolutely. I have come for you at moments, but honestly, for real, for real, Heidi, I, I, I do. I think you're a beautiful person. I yes. think you have, I think you have a great spirit about you. And I like the fact that nothing, nothing shakes you. Nothing. Thank you. And you too, as a therapist, you know, you already know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Did you um did you really like Bridget Nielsen? K 
again, same thing. I, I just met her, you know, she was doing the, the, the role or whatever. I'm figuring she came in, she did her acting gig and she left too. So it literally was like going to work, whether you work at a law firm or bakery, whatever, it literally was like going in to do a job and then leaving. That is what it was. Uh huh. Uh huh. Were you, you got eliminated? Was I upset? Were you, yeah. Were you upset or sad when you had to go home? Honestly, I was so ready to get some sleep. <laughs> I was okay with it, to be honest with you. I mean, I wanted to win, but at that time I was like, okay, it'd been so many hours and so many days. I was very happy to go and finally get some sleep. Yeah, I was sad. I was sad. Because I had just moved to LA when I did the show. Aww. And I, felt like I had made like real friends and connections on there. So it was like, I was like, at first I was living, we, we in a mansion. I didn't yeah. want to leave that. Uh, yes, yes. Snap your fingers and whatever you want is there. That's real. I was like, uh, <laughs> where my, what, what, I, I am not going back to a mansion when I leave here. Uh, this is, this is, this is not my life. Because <laughs> oh. yeah. first Hollywood too, I know. I was in Toluca Lake at the time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Heidi, please tell us about your um, business endeavors before we go, the things that you and your husband are into um, so we can support. Thank you. Well, we run a technology and media company. So at all technology, we do mobile apps, websites, e-learning content, but we also do TV channels. So one of our channels is the documentary and reality TV channel. I would love to talk with you about having your show on our channel because I think people would love it. Uh, we also have Black Reflections TV and a women-centered TV channel, which I can't really talk about yet. But yeah, that's we, these channels are on Roku, uh, they're on uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon Fire TV, they're on the web and mobile app too. Because I understand, I understand what people want to watch because they talk to us about it. I'm looking at all the comments right here. And yes, I see you. Thank you. Hi. And uh, yeah, so people will be watching. They can watch and we make sure to give them the content that they want to see. How, yeah. can, how can we go back and watch your cooking show, which I'm sure everybody wants to see? Yes, Poultry Princess. You go to poultry princess go to amazon prime are you on amazon prime yes yeah. just put poultry princess right in the search box and you can watch it there or you can go to docs and reality tv that's docs and reality tv put poultry princess in the search box and watch the entire season and the holiday cooking episode <laughs> how do you have merch don't you have merch as well how can yeah. um, how can people buy your merch Absolutely. They can go right there. They can buy the merch and they can even go to Amazon and buy the cookbook right there. Poultry Princess, just put in the search box, Poultry Princess Cookbook and shop to your heart's content. Get recipes to help you in the kitchen, guys. Get recipes to help you. I, I know it helped me. <laughs> girl, oh man, Heidi, thank you so much for coming <laughs> on tonight, girl. Oh yeah. man. This has been amazing. Uh, yes, thank you for having me. You are amazing. Girl, look, I, I look, I hope I didn't scare you too bad. Like oh, you did. <laughs> I didn't watch you. I thought I was gonna have to click the click. Oh, click, click. Oh, oh, we lost the canal. Oh, no. <laughs> no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I definitely look, I, I definitely kept you on the edge of your seat. Oh yes. But, <laughs> but no, 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 man. I, I'm, I'm truly honored, and I thank you for doing this and coming on, man. The people, this is what they wanted. This is what they kept asking me for. And okay. so when I, when I actually connected with you, I was so excited, man. Yes. It's so good to see you after all these years. Same here, hugs, hugs, hugs. So good. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for watching Goldie Interviews tonight. Um, Y'all continue to support Shatar, Heidi Collier, my girl, my castmate, Flavor Love Season 1. Y'all already know. Uh, I holla. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye. Thank you.